Let's use a model to make sense of multiplying fractions. 1 fourth times 2 thirds equals h. In this example, the factors are 1 fourth and 2 thirds. We will multiply them to find the product. 1 fourth times 2 thirds means 1 fourth of 2 thirds. Since 2 thirds is the factor we're finding part of, let's show that factor first. Here is a hole. Partition or cut a hole into thirds and shade two of the thirds. The yellow section shows two thirds. We're finding one fourth of two thirds, so we need to cut the model again, this time into fourths. Shade one fourth of the yellow part. One fourth of two thirds is this much. But what fraction of the whole is it? Well, the whole has been partitioned into 12 equal parts, and two of them are shaded, so this is 2 twelfths of the whole. The product of 1 fourth times 2 thirds is 2 twelfths. No matter which way we turn the model, it still shows 1 fourth of 2 thirds, so all of these models represent the same equation. Once we understand the model, we can use a shortcut to multiply fractions. Notice the numerators in the equation. 1 times 2 equals 2. Notice the denominators. 4 times 3 equals 12. We can multiply the numerators of the factors to find the numerator of the product. And we can multiply the denominators of the factors to find the denominator of the product. Multiplying fractions, you just multiply across. Try it with a new problem. 3 fifths times 2 fourths. 3 times 2 equals 6. 5 times 4 equals 20. So the product should be 6 twentieths. Check it with a model. First, show a hole. Partition the hole into fourths, since two-fourths is the fraction we're finding part of. Shade two-fourths. Cut the hole into fifths in the other direction. And shade three-fifths of the two-fourths. This model shows three-fifths of two-fourths. There are 20 parts in the model, and six of them are shaded. This is six-twentieths. The shortcut worked. Look at this problem. What is the product of 3 fifths times 2 fourths? A, 5 ninths, B, 10 twelfths, or C, 3 tenths? We just found that the product is 6 twentieths because 3 times 2 equals 6 and 5 times 4 equals 20. But 6 twentieths is not one of the answer choices. So find an answer choice that is equivalent to 6 twentieths. To find equivalent fractions, multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number. 6 twentieths is equivalent to 3 tenths because 6 divided by 2 equals 3 and 20 divided by 2 equals 10. So the correct answer is C, 3 tenths. In this video, you have learned how to multiply a fraction by a fraction. Thanks for watching.